USA, USA, what's happening? Yes, I am inspired right now. I'm inspired because I'm gonna show you five dumbbell core exercises that are inspired by my friend, not my friend, uh, Sean White. Mr. Mr. White, who just got his uh, third gold medal in the uh, Pyeongchang Olympics, Winter Olympics, it's pretty amazing. Uh, and so it inspired me to create a video showing five really cool dumbbell core exercises that some of these you've probably never seen or tried before. So here we go. So I'm gonna go ahead and begin with a standing, a vertical twisting movement. So I'm gonna grab a 20 pound dumbbell. I'm gonna hold it by its sides just like this. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna rotate as I twist down to the ground and I'm gonna lift the dumbbell and press it up over my head. And I'm gonna do 10 reps to the left and then 10 reps to the right, okay? So notice also my feet as I do this, right? So I'm not firmly planted to the ground, I'm having to be able to rotate. So I'm reaching, I'm pulling up, rotating and pressing up. Boom, and down. Good. Let's do five more. Five. Start with a weight that feels reasonable to you. Couple more. This is a total body movement, okay? I'm getting that rotation, I'm bending down, I'm moving through my hips, I'm rotating right, I'm rotating left, I'm having to pivot my feet, I'm getting my heart rate up, I'm breathing a little bit heavier. Very dynamic, really cool exercise. This is a great starting movement. Again, go with a reasonable load. I mean, you could, I've done this movement with like a 45 pound plate. You can, you can get up to some weight on these, but start reasonable. 20 pounds is a reasonable weight. You could do this with a medicine ball. So again, I'm here. Notice I'm having to like pivot a little bit as I'm down. As I come up, I'm pulling the dumbbell to my chest and pressing up to finish the movement. Two, three, four, five, five more, six, Very dynamic, cool movement. Kind of feel it everywhere, but certainly uh, somebody like Sean in his training would have to do a great number of twisting and core-based movements because of all the twisting and, and flipping and movement that he has in his path down the, the snow. He needs to be able to be very comfortable and moving his body in space, rotating, twisting, maneuvering. Okay, so movement number two. We're gonna be on a single leg now. Uh, I was doing some, some reading and exercises like this for the type of athlete that Sean is are huge. Anything single leg because it's just that much more essential that his balance is like extra amazing his proprioception, all that stuff. So we're reaching, we're pulling in, we're raising the knee, and we're pressing up overhead. So I'm constantly having to work and maintaining a strong core, working with reasonable weight, three. Feeling this through the lower leg big time. Five, that other leg draws behind you, six. Arms out to your side for added balance. 10. Toe tap down the ground if you need it. Like that. Maintain, as you fatigue, good. You're gonna have to. And up, good. So I'd recommend 10 reps as a good starting point. If you need to go a little lighter than 20 to start, that's fine as well. Give yourself a, a few moments in between, switch to the other leg and repeat, right? So we're maintaining a good strong spine, good posture, reach into the toe, pulling up, 
pressing up. One leg might feel more sturdy than the other. That's totally normal. Two. Take your time with it, there's no rush. The better you get, the faster you can go through it. Ooh. So I had to really correct myself there. Come down. Seven. Feel a lot of burning through the lower leg. The tibialis anterior, the front of the calf, really starts to burn up on that, like kind of where people get feel like they get shin splints and stuff. That you're constantly, when you're on a single foot, try to think, someone said this to me the other day and it, it, it clicks. And I think I, <laughs> I knew this from years ago, but think of your foot as like a tripod. So your heel, your big toe, and your pinky toe. And uh, those are like your three points of contact in, at your foot. So constantly kind of thinking about pressing the big toe, the pinky, and the heel into the floor. But that's a terrific move for balance, for core, for posture. You know, you're, you're firing all those deep stabilizing muscles essential to somebody that's spinning and flipping through the air. All right, moving on to movement number three. Now we're gonna stay with a single leg exercise, but I'm going with two dumbbells, but much lighter weight. And this is why. You know that movement that you see like a skier or a snowboarder do? When they're up in the air, they kind of, sometimes their arms are kind of moving to help them stabilize and establish position and space. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna maintain that really good posture, leg elevated, arms out to the side. You're gonna do small circles. One, two, three. Reasonable weight here. Four, six. Maintaining your position. Eight, nine, ten. I mean, you can do as many reps as you want, but don't go too heavy on these. Now go the other direction with the standing on the other leg. Three. Eight, nine, ten. So this is great, right, for core, leg, shoulder, a little bit of everything going on there. So again, we got the stabilizers going. We got some of this arm movement going. That is something that's kind of essential. And, and again, as I said, somebody that's really doing dynamic stuff. Okay, now we're going to transition down to the ground. Exercise number four. We have a Russian twist holding a dumbbell. So the feet, get that out of the way, the feet are gonna be elevated just a little bit as we twist, rotate from side to side. This is a, a challenging exercise, no doubt about it. It's much easier if you maintain your heels on the ground, but as soon as you lift the heels up, you're try, you're, it's kind of a V-sit position. As you rotate, and you're really having to think about what you're doing here. It's easy to lose your position, but if you have to start with the heels on the ground, just make sure that you're leaning back far enough and you're challenging those core muscles. Really try to rotate from three o'clock to nine o'clock. Russian twist, you've probably seen them before. Try it with just a single dumbbell. Start light, move your weight up, but get that good range of motion. Try to do it with the feet elevated like this. Get that good twist. You could even start without a dumbbell. Try to keep your feet and your knees close together because they're gonna wanna, as you're twisting and rotating, your knees and feet are gonna wanna separate as your legs are kind of moving and stuff. So, cool exercise. Now we're gonna stay on the ground, but this exercise, I, tr I promise you've probably never done this one before. Let's go with a 15 pound dumbbell. I'm gonna get into a side plank position, okay? So I'm just like this. 
My body's nice and long. I'm gonna stack my feet. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lift myself up into a side plank. I'm gonna grab my dumbbell. I'm gonna thread the needle under my body and then reach up. Thread and up. Two. Three. Four. Five. I think five is actually a good place to start because these are challenging. Now, there is another way you can go with these. And I'll show you. So, you're here, you thread, and then you can hold the top position. So after you thread, if you wanna hold for an extended period to get the added benefits of the side plank exercise, thread, there's two, and you could hold it for an extended period. Maintain that strong, long spine, three, or go four, five. Not an easy exercise by any means. So there are five terrific exercises. I'd recommend going a little lighter with any of these if you're unsure of yourself, if you've never done them before. Start a little lighter, build your, build your weights up, build your reps up, do those five exercises. If you just did those five a couple times through, Consistently over a, say a 30 day period, no doubt will you feel and see a difference in your core strength. Uh, I thank Sean White for inspiring me to make a video with five really dynamic dumbbell core exercises. He's amazing, I love his story, and uh, just makes me proud to watch the Olympics and see some of these just terrific athletes performing at their best. So before you go though, I have a free gift it's a free gift that's perfect if you like this stuff. I have five more of the best core exercises. It's a free report, you can download it instantly. Click the arrow underneath this video, look for that top link, criticalbench.com forward slash core killers. Click that, enter your email, download that report instantly. Or just click this box right here. Do that same thing, you can have that report right away and do more core training using those exercises. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Check out these other terrific videos on our channel. Leave some comments, questions for us. Hit the notification bell and give this video a like. We'll see you next time.